Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And today, I'm going to talk about a topic that I wish I never had to bring up. And I sure as heck hope I am wrong. I would love to show you. Uh, there was a Coyotes-Kings game last night, uh, night of the 21st, Sunday evening. And I was watching it. And uh, I've been watching all the Coyotes games. I not how much of a hockey fan I am. I'm Pearlism, by the way. You do know that, right? You can get me at Pearls at the uh, Perlo and NHL Perlo's NHL POW on Twitter. You can also come and talk to me about this topic uh, weekdays from three to five Eastern, or any other topic you'd like to talk about hockey. All part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. If you like the four major sports and all things to do with the four major sports, you'll like the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. I'm really pushing a smile on my face because I watched that game and it's the first time in my life watching hockey where I thought a game was fixed. The calls and and now it's getting more confusing to me. The, the the more we go on here, as uh, I'll explain later. But there were several calls in the first period where I was like, whatever. But there was a call on Lemieux as he was coming down on a partial breakaway. It was a blatant, blatant trip. Okay, and that happens. Even that happens. It happens. But this one was especially blatant as far as I was concerned, but that, and, and it should have been called. And, I, and I've been watching games against the Coyotes, or the Coyotes games, the two previous that they won, and I noticed a lot of this as well. A lot of calls going their way, a little bit, but nothing that really alarmed me. This one alarmed me. That call was a blatant call. Later on, uh, after that, there was an interference call where Lemieux and another one with Lemieux, somebody collided. Lemieux got a penalty for reasons no one understands. At this point, Lemieux was actually laughing, like laughing at the referees. I think he was getting the idea now what was going on. Um, there was a call, several other calls after that. Now, L.A. was playing tight. There's no doubt about it. And then came the third period where um, another interference call went against the Kings. That made no sense. And finally, an L.A. King player, and I can't remember who it is now, got tackled. Like, tackled. And they called the penalty, but they said the L.A. King player was diving it was insane there was n <laughs> i i don't even know how to put words to it man like i'm not an la kings fan i'm not a fan of either team or anything like that but this was blatant to me and it, Here's the thing that blows my mind. I want to get even more than this. It was blatant. And now I go to look at, I went on the uh, YouTube and I, I looked on TV to look at the re replays of the games. The only thing they showed was the Lemieux one, which was a blatantly obvious one. And you go like, okay, that was a stupid call. You can see that from time to time. They didn't show the diving call, the interferences that I think were even possibly worse. Um, didn't show any of it. And it was the timing of the calls. It was made, I, and, and the way the referees were reacting and almost the way the Kings play, team like seemed the LA Kings players and coach weren't even getting mad. It's like they were resigned to the idea that this was going to happen. It was just sick. And now if you look at, with the how bad these calls were, 
It should have been all over everywhere, man. I went to all the places I could find to talk about the game last night. Not a peep about it. Not one. McClellan, I can't even believe, didn't even mention it in his post game or anything. Weird stuff, man. Weird stuff going on here. Yeah, LA, the LA Kings were shooting right at. They were obviously playing tight. No doubt about that. I'm not going to go as far as to say that the Kings threw the game. I mean, God, that's just, no. Uh, please. But they shot in the middle of Valmaki all night long. Right in the middle of them. But I, I, I don't think that. But this is the first time ever I could say that I really feel there was a mandate for the Arizona to start winning that game, to win that game. And here's the thing. This is the first year that the NHL has been backed by gambling institutions, MGM, DraftKings, all of these types of sponsors. They're losing their butt with the Coyotes all year this year. Right? You don't think there's a time when it comes up that your sponsor, who's paying you a crap load of money, doesn't call you up and say, you got to do something with these this Coyotes team because uh, we can't have this. We, we're, we're, we can't have a team with the odds in this way. We, we can't do it. We're not going to make any money. You don't think so? Uh, we'll take a look at... Uh, We'll take a look at, I'm going to take a look at who the refs were, but I don't think it matters to tell you the honest truth. I don't know. We'll see going forward. And tell me in the comment section if you think I'm correct, if you happen to watch that game. Thing is, it, it's a Coyotes game too, right? I think if it was Toronto or something like that, these calls would have been all over the place. So not as many people are watching the games is what I'm trying to say. But I am blown away how there wasn't more and, and like I said, you look at the replays and the, on TV and on YouTube from the NHL Network, the most egregious calls, they show the one that was pretty bad. The Mew one was bad. But the other ones where interference and diving and everything are not shown. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You're, like, if, if you saw the game, you tell me in the comment section. If you think that diving call shouldn't be shown on a freaking, should be everywhere. That should be like all over the place. That was one of the worst blown calls I have ever seen. In the third period, when LA is, uh, it's, I'm telling you, man, something's going on. We're going to find out if it's true in the next little while. We'll take a look at the games and see how it is, but I'm going to be looking for it. My heart sinks, man, at the thought that the NHL would be going this direction. It really does. I love the NHL. I have my whole life. It's it's like a deep love for the NHL. I, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. But if this stuff keeps happening, I'm out. I am out. Talking about that, I'm out. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.